All right, here it is, my X Proto Lab from Gabotronics. Just got it, and it's small, so tiny. Uh, here, roll of solder. <laughs> Real tiny. All right, let's get out of the packaging. All right, got out of the package. Check it out. Pretty small. Here, let's zoom in. Pretty tiny, those little uh, headers and the switches, pretty tight fit there, but it looks like it worked out. Awesome, can't wait to, can't wait to fire it up. Alright, I'm on Gabotronics.com, reading the manual, figuring out how to hook everything up. Very good instructions. Um, basically, you can hook up 3.3 volts or 5 volts in ground. Either one will power the the uh, X Proto Lab, and it's recommended to hook up all the grounds. But uh, as you can see here, I just want to get the thing powered, so I've got 5 volts and ground hooked up. Now it looks backwards because it is um, and it's because of my spark fun little power supply here. It kinda has the VCC and ground flipped when you, when you put it on this side of the proto board. When you flip it around and put it down here it would be correct. I just happened to put it together this way um, so I had to flip my thinking up here so it's all good no alarms don't worry uh, I did ground channel 1 input that's the only channel I'm going to use right now and um, I turned this on and I got a shock check this out what I turned that on and I saw my logo and I freaked out I was like what I'm like what's going on there's some kind of alternate reality happening right now that's awesome dude that is personalization right there thank you so much that is awesome oh yeah So let's see what's happening. It looks like channel one's picking up a little noise. That's what happens when you usually have your scope probe up in the air. So I got a 555 timer circuit here that I prototyped. I'm just gonna pop this guy in. It looks like we got something going on there. It actually should be oscillating... Oh, it shouldn't be oscillating at all, because there's no capacitor. That's what it looks like is happening. It's going to 5 volts. So, let's fix that. There we go, capacitor added. Haven't tested it yet. I'm going to try right now. Get it lined up. Oh, yeah. Cool. Alright, now I have no idea how to work it yet. I'm sorry I didn't read the manual ahead of time. I just kind of wanted to see, I guess, how intuitive it is. Uh, being so small, you might think it's not very intuitive, but 
Uh, you are about to witness how intuitive it is. I have not looked at the manual. I see a button labeled menu. I don't know what these do, but I'm just going to start poking around. So, let's see here. Channel 1. Logic. I'm going to go with channel 1. Channel 1 is on. Gain. I'm assuming that's going to make it smaller. It's going to make it bigger. It's labeled quite nicely. Uh, let's see. What if I hit the menu button again? Aha! Position. Invert. Math. Menu again. Looks like it's off. And it'll cycle through. Oh, trigger type. That's what I was looking for. Trig type. Trig source. No trig. Uh, trig type. Normal. Single. Auto. Um, let's try... Let's try normal. It shouldn't be dithering around at all. Single. Auto. Aha! Auto is working pretty good. So, I just happen to have the division set correctly for the cap I just grabbed. It just happens to show uh, at least, you know, a period or two on the screen. Let's see what normal does. No, nothing. So, auto. Okay, I'm going to try the menu. No trig. Alright, so no trig. And you basically... Um, Let's get uh, the rolling waveform there. Looks pretty much like any other scope when you're not triggering properly. Um, trigger source, channel 1, channel 2. Alright, that makes sense. Let's see what else we got. Meter. Awesome. Peak to peak. Well, so my waveform is not quite 50%. Um, it's higher than that, so it looks like it's actually averaging pretty good for a PWM waveform. Let's try. Let's try frequency. Yeah, it's actually showing the waveform there under the uh, the value. That's awesome. And obviously, channel two is just kind of. He's not grounded or anything, so he's kind of picking up a little bit of something there, but... So, 6.25 hertz. I would think it'd be faster than that, but... I got a 1 microfarad cap, and I've got, uh... Basically, you know, two 1K resistors there and a 1 microfarad cap. So... I'm not sure. I'll just trust it for now. So let's see here. What else can we do? Peak to peak. Um, I am powering from a 5 volt supply that I measured earlier. It was 4.98. Peak to peak should be about 4.98. Um, I know the 555 goes pretty much rail to rail. Um, let's see here. I just take this and plug it into power. Let's see. Power, 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 power. Okay, 4.843. Oh, it's pretty close to 4.89 that I was measuring earlier. Let's see what else we got. XY mode. I'm assuming that's not going to do much with one channel input. Scope, meter scope, FFT mode. Yeah, I got a square wave. Let's see what we got here. Now, it's not a very high frequency if uh, 6.25 hertz is the frequency. It 
say uh, the menu system's very intuitive. Uh, if you know how to use a scope, you can uh, fat finger your way through no problem. Actually, these buttons I thought might be kind of difficult to push, but uh, if you look from the side there, they stick up quite nicely. No problems whatsoever. There's plenty of space between them. Uh, I'm not having a problem at all. I'm just looking at the uh, camera here. I'm just kind of going through. Uh, so let's see. Logic. Ooh, decode. Parallel serial protocol. Oh, awesome. SPI and UART and I squared C already in. Already loaded. Awesome. That was a recent addition. I uh, wasn't sure if that'd be included or not. Alright, let's get the waveform back up here. Ooh, let's try a uh, charging waveform. Huh. So that's a voltage on the cap. Position, vert, mass. I don't want to do mass right now. Trigger type. Auto seemed to work pretty good before. Yep, pretty sweet. We'll give you some more details later. All right, take it easy, everybody. Oh, and I'll give you a close up of this awesome logo. That is so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys.